Howdy, howdy. Time permitting, <clears throat> I will do a, uh, like a video today on how, you know, how my, how my day goes. So you can tell I <laughs> probably cut a couple of pounds off my head. Uh, Isabel did it, so, uh, eh, you know what, we bought the clippers for only like 20 bucks, I guess. It's cheap, cheap as hell. Hmm. One haircut and you're, and you're done. So I uh, got up today almost to the hour ago. So I just had pretty much my first sip of coffee. And I'm going to walk here in about 20 minutes. So I like to drink a little bit of caffeine before the walk. Um, I can't remember exactly the process or why, but Thomas DeLauer says it's a good idea. And he did explain it. Um, and then by the time I get back, I'm doing push-ups today. I'll be cooking dinner for them. It's kind of weird. I... Uh, me being me, I guess. I uh, when I'm fasting, I like watching food videos. <laughs> it's, some people will be like, "What the hell?" Yeah, well, uh, I learned about chicken fricassee. Oh, fri uh, how would I ever say? Uh, uh, fricassee uh, du, po uh, du poulet. Fricassee du poulet. Or de poulet. I guess it's de of. Um, and interesting, uh, frire is to fry, and casse is to break. So essentially, you break the chicken up and you fry it. They think that's how it came to, literally, frire casse or fricasse, and it's feminine because it has the the accent which I have to pronounce, and it literally means fricasseed, and then you have to add the extra e for the feminine, Oy. but you don't pronounce it. Oh, boy, if you didn't know how to spell French, you'd never be able to spell French. Impossible. Hmm? Mm. But like I said, caffeine hasn't had a chance to hit yet. And I, I woke up really, really refreshed. Minus a few times. I, I, had, to, I had to get up for diuresis last night. Um, <clears throat> just because, I, I mean, I already, by the time I went to bed, I had been fasting eight hours already. So my insulin had already crashed. Any carbs that I had eaten, long gone. And anything left today is going to be like poof, see you bye. And then, so literally I skipped two meals. So today at 2 o'clock I'll skip it. I, brought, I, bought some, uh, I bought some sparkling water that has like lithium in it. I want to see what that does. I mean the last time I drank it, it was kind of cool. I felt like, whoa. I want to see kind of what it does to you long term. Um, but that's every once in a while. Normally I just drink Topo Chico, which is just regular old mineral sparkling, sparkling mineral water. Um, yeah, and then uh, that's it um, with some lime and some salt. Maybe I'll take a pinch of Franks or something. Um, it, the calories aren't even going to, my body is not even going to recognize it. Um, but I, I kind of like a little bit of chili, especially cayenne pepper. Uh, so all during today, my metabolism will begin to rise. Cortisol levels will begin to rise in that um, it wants my body to go out and kill something so I can eat it. Uh, so after this, uh, like I said, after dinner, I, I may have a ghrelin hit, but that'll pass. I'll uh, play piano or something and then we teach and then I'm going to get tired because I've been waking up early. Uh, I'm only 10 minutes away from the time change where I would normally wake up, so, yay. Um, and that's even before dawn now. Well, before sunrise, dawn, uh, we already have civil twilight. And then um, I'll push through tomorrow's meal, and then I'll be able to eat Wednesday. So I normally break my fast with maybe some cinnamon, hard-boiled egg. <coughs> um... And then I'll eat a couple of eggs for hors d'oeuvres for the main course. And then I, I have leftover meats and stuff that I can eat. I still have a whole nother one of those ribs. And then I have uh, a bunch of burger meat. So, yeah, I, this, this week I was planning on doing just um, the triple B&E diet. Um, burgers, bacon, butter, and eggs. But uh, I still have uh, chicharrones, so... Anyway, um, I'll chat with you guys a little later, and I'll put in the thumbnail what I ate yesterday, so we'll talk soon. Bye.